Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Welcome to yet another edition of Pantherology. Welcome to my four bold predictions for the Carolina Panthers versus the Atlanta Falcons. All right, so if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and do it now. Pound that like button, pound the subscribe button, comment down below at the end of the video. Let me know what you think. Pantherologists and Panther Nation, y'all been good to me. Keep it up. Keep the support up. I really appreciate it. So, let's go ahead and get right into this. So, my four bold predictions for the Carolina Panthers versus the Atlanta Falcons. This matchup between the Carolina Panthers and the Atlanta Falcons is an interesting one heading into week five. They are two fringe teams who have had very different seasons up to this point. The Falcons have just been a complete disaster. They have yet to win a game and sit in last place in the NFC South. Atlanta should be 2-1 if they could finish a game. They have blown two fourth quarter leads of 10 or more points. The Falcons continue to be one of the most confusing teams in the football in football because their offense is electric but they do not win. The Dan Quinn era needs to come to an end soon. For Carolina, Matt Rule era has taken a turn after a, an 0-2 start. The Panthers have won their last two games, and they have done so without their star player, Christian McCaffrey. Their defense has improved, and Teddy Bridgewater is looking like a, a legitimate starting quarterback in the NFL. This NFC South matchup is huge for both sides. So here are four bold predictions for this game heading into week five. Number one, one this is going to be one step closer to Dan Quinn's firing. This has gone for too long. The Falcons are coming off back-to-back -back seven and nine seasons, and they are off to an 0-4 start in the 2020 season. A coach cannot live off one Super Bowl appearance for long, especially when there was a 28-3 lead blown late in the third quarter. The Falcons have made a habit of blowing big leads. They have squared away two double-digit leads in the fourth quarter this season alone. The other two games have been non-competitive, including Monday's night's game, 30-16 loss to the Green Bay Packers. This is a team that is not clicking on either side of the ball. Dan Quinn, who is a defensive-minded coach, has not built a strong one in, in Atlanta. It will not be long before Dan Quinn is let go. The Falcons cannot continue to stay in this current situation. If they continue to get blown out, it will be sooner than later. Number two, my boy Mike Davis finds the end zone twice. Christian McCaffrey... Uh, is still on the IR, was only expected to miss four to six weeks after s suffering a high ankle sprain. This a is a fair reason to panic for the Panthers fans and fantasy owners, but Davis has stepped in and taken over very nicely in my opinion. Davis has given the Panthers another dual threat option at the running back position. In week three against the Chargers, Davis rushed for 46 yards and added nine catches for 45 yards and a touchdown. Against Arizona, Davis carried the ball 16 times for 84 yards and a score. He finished with six receptions, and the Falcons have allowed five total touchdowns to running backs this season. Running backs have gotten comfortable against the Falcons both through the air and on the ground. In week one, Seattle's Chris Carson caught two touchdown passes against Atlanta. Davis has the skill set to do both, and they will be on display in this one. Number three, Teddy Bridgewater, I think, is going to throw three touchdowns in this game. Um, the Panthers signed Bridgewater to a three-year, $63 million contract this offseason, as we all know. This contract was no surprise. Cam Newton is now in New England, and Kyle Allen is in Washington with Ron Rivera, as we all know that as well. 
Rural needed a quarterback in his first season, and Bridgewater is a quality starter. Through three games, Bridgewater has been a game manager for the Carolina Panthers. He has thrown touchdowns in three out of the four games this season, with one being a multi-touchdown game. This will be his first three touchdown performance. Miraculously enough, opposing quarterbacks have been responsible for exactly four touchdowns in all four games against the Falcons. Russell Wilson lit up Atlanta for four touchdowns in the opener. In week two, Dak threw just one but added three on the ground. The Falcons allowed Nick Foles to come in and throw three touchdowns after replacing Mitch Trubisky, who threw one of his own. And finally, we all saw Aaron Rodgers and Robert Tanyan carve up the Falcons on Monday night. This is a struggling defense, to say the least. Bridgewater is in for a big game. He could become the first quarterback to not score four, but expect his first three touchdown performance in a Panthers uniform. Number four, Carolina Panthers are going to extend the winning streak now. The wheels have fallen off for the Falcons. The season is already over, and they have to be looking to, to the post-Quinn era. This is a chance for the Panthers to take advantage of a defeated team. The Panthers are starting to put it together. Entering the season, they were supposed to be one of the teams contending for that number one overall pick in the draft, but that does not look like the case anymore. Teddy Bridgewater is doing just enough to win some games, and Davis has been ex excellent in the absence of Christian McCaffrey. The Panthers have a strong duo on the outside with DJ Moore and Robbie Anderson. This season, we are going to learn a lot about Matt Rule at the NFL level, and so far, so good. This game will take place in Atlanta, but that should be no factor. The Falcons could lose anywhere at this point, in my opinion. I'm taking, obviously, I'm picking the, the Panthers here. They're going to win this game. I think it's going to be closer than what people think, though. But I think the Panthers win here 31 to 27. So guys, that is those are my four uh, bold predictions for the Carolina Panthers versus the Atlanta Falcons. Pantherologists and Panther Nation, you know what to do. Pound that like button, pound the subscribe button, comment down below. Uh, guys, if you're new to the channel and you like what I'm putting out there, so go ahead and pound that like button and pound that subscribe button. Show us some support. Guys, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Panther Nation, Pantherologists, keep pounding.